everybody welcome back to another modern gameplay video today we are playing budget elves again but this is not gonna be your typical budget elf deck so uh we played budget elves like maybe two or three times in the past but this one's gonna be different because it's squirrel hydra elves i know that sounds kind of crazy um but let's just go over it so you all know the elf part i don't really have to explain much about that but the squirrel part comes from Deep Forest Hermit, which is an absolute sleeper from Modern Horizons. It's a five drop elf that produces four green squirrels when it enters and gives squirrels plus one plus one. Vanishing for three, but that really doesn't matter. Three turns is plenty for this guy to just win the game. He hits hard, nine power split between five bodies for five mana. So that is step number one. And we're using this to exploit Colony Hydra. This is the Hydra part of Squirrel Hydra Elves. So it costs a green less to cast for each green creature you control. Now, elves by default spits out a bunch of creatures. On top of that, when you slam that deep forest hermit that produces five more green bodies, the colony hydra is pretty much gonna be free in any scenario after dropping a deep forest hermit. If you have multiple colony hydras, you start dropping out free 8-8 tramples. It can get pretty insane. And uh, this is kind of wacky. I don't know how well it's going to work. This is something that Saffron Olive would call an against the odds deck. I would be happy if we achieved this at least once. I don't know what to expect, um, but let's get to it. And shout outs to our sponsors, TCG Player and Mana Traders for all of your Magic the Gathering needs. If you like to play this deck in paper, consider purchasing through our decklist link down below. That's our TCG Player link and anything you purchase through there really helps out the channel. It is the number one place on the internet to buy Magic the Gathering singles. And if you want to play this deck on MTGO, consider signing up with Mana Traders in the link down below using the code MarinMoon to save 15% off. You can rent today's deck and play along with us. They're the most trusted and reliable MTGO card rental service, the best way to play all the Magic magic online you want and shout out to our supporters over on patreon their names have been scrolling down below it is because of you guys this channel is possible so thank you very much for your support and if you would like to support on patreon as well a link is down below and with that let's jump right into the deck tech followed by the gameplay hope you enjoy all right we are live here on twitch got our deck freshly rented out courtesy of mana traders we went over the squirrel hydra synergy in the intro uh, the rest of the deck is just elves, like we're running a bunch of basic force because it is a budget deck so we can run Arbor Elf as an additional one drop to help get out our three drops on turn two, which is important because in addition to Arc Druid, our typical elf lord makes a bunch of mana, we got Imperious Perfect. And um, the reason we got a set of Imperious Perfect is because it can tap for one green to make an elf token. And then Dwinan's Elite also makes an elf token and you want elves that produce more bodies so that it makes your Colony Hydra cheaper. Just in case we don't hit the Deep Forest Hermit, we can still produce a bunch of bodies in these other ways. And Elvish Clan Caller is also another thing that can go and get another body. It's another Lord. And then of course we got Heritage Druid, Elvish Mystic, and Lana War Elves as additional mana dorks. And onto the sideboard, we got three copies of Shaper Sanctuary as anti-removal, three copies of Veil of Summer for anti-thoughts using counter spells. Uh, Weather the Storm for anti-blitz when they start storming off a bunch of spells at you and then you just gain like a trillion life. And then Choke for anti-control. Reclamation Sage is our naturalized effect. It's also an elf. And then Elvish Champion to give our creatures Forest Walk just in case we're going up against a forest-based Stompy deck. And with that, we're ready to go on to the gameplay. Hope you enjoy. Got a game here against Worm2200, who we played against in the last video. And the last, last video also. And we are going to be on the play, keeping this hand. Oh, I forgot to go over Lead the Stampede in the, in the deck tech portion. I forgot about that. But people know what Lead the Stampede does. This hand's pretty solid. It, it's pretty solid if our Land of War Elves doesn't die. If our Land of War Elves dies, this hand sucks. Like, really bad. Like, really, really bad. Just thought sees me. Don't push. Okay, good. Now, I don't care if they take an Imperious Perfect because I got the backup. Honestly, they're probably going to take Lead the Stampede. It's probably what they're taking. I want to keep Lead the Stampede because it'd probably help me find, like, Squirrels and Hydras. But still, this is fine. Can try to win naturally. They do take Lead. Give me a... Oh, I was going to say give me Arcturid and did just that. All right, well, if they don't disrupt me anymore, I can just spit out my whole hand next turn. Knight's Whisper, okay. Oh, it's Black White Stoneblade. Give me a land. 
Give me a land. Give me a land so I can do everything. Oh, heck yeah. All right. Uh, Dwyden's elite. Imperius, perfect. Imperius, perfect. Now, please don't bond to his last reckoning. <laughs> please don't bond to his last reckoning. Because I got ultra mega lethal now. Is that a concession? Yay! Turn three. Okay, sideboard against black white stone blade. I probably want um Rex Sage, but honestly, I don't really care about Stone Forge. Like I feel like I'm just gonna try to go bigger and wider than it. Um I feel like I want Veil of Summer. But then again, we're on the draw. And I probably don't want it on the draw because obvious reasons like they can do it on turn one and just take it but it can prevent push and stuff and things and stuff i mean it's not a bad idea but i don't think we need it shaper sanctuary could be decent but again i feel like that's something i'd rather have when i'm on the play i think on the draw i'm gonna leave it the same because i need all my explosiveness and i can't really go so slow on the draw and stuff like and leave a stampede is like good here anyways like i wouldn't cut that because leave the stampede like refuel me good value um i'm gonna keep this because if i hit a land go heritage root into dwinan's elite yeah see that's the reason why i didn't bring in veil of summer because they just like inquisition me before i have a chance to use it so it's better on the play for sure are you dropping frames am i I am, I am dropping a little bit of frames, but it's like not that much. I'm not dropping that much frames. So they see the jig is up. They know we're on Squirrel Hydra Elves now. <laughs> Come on, please give me another Heritage Druid or a Arc Druid. All right, please give me one land at the top so I can go Squirrel Hydra. <laughs> I want to go Squirrel Hydra, please. I mean, if I whiff, if I whiff on the land, I can still go Hydra next turn. Like, it's that easy in Elves to get out. Like, it's a 4-drop now. 4-drop 8-8 eight, eight, Trample. Just don't disrupt me. Just tab out for like a... I was going to say, like, float a mana and let it do nothing and then play in a Johnny's Mantra. Oh... All right, well, let's go. Ooh, this is interesting. Because I can go one Colony Hydra now, or I can go Arc Druid, and the next turn I can go Deforest Armament Hydra Hydra, which might be better. Yeah, let's just... Let's, let's go for the next turn play. It's probably greedy. It might be greedy. Oh, they're probably going to double block my elf warrior. Oh, just chump chump. Okay. Just please don't do anything to my hand. And please don't kill my arc druid. Don't wrath. Don't wrath, dude. Don't wrath. Just don't. Just don't wrath. Okay, thank you. Now don't thoughtsies. And don't path. Don't stop on my draw step. Oh, this is going to be so good. Deep Forest Hermit. Squirrel Hydras, it's happening. It is happening. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's amazing. We just produced, how much power did we just put on the field? That's 10 plus 60. We just put 26 power just like that. No, no. All right. I thought they were going to wrath. They're just scaring me tapping out like that. All right. Well, everything has to swing at Gideon now. Dude, Gideon is the deadest he's ever been in his whole life. Like, we have to swing all at Gideon here. So, 
Gideon is extremely just smushed into an uncountable amount of bits. Yeah, like, how much damage did he take in the face right there? 16 plus 11 is 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 37 plus 6 is 43 to the face. Yeah. Yeah, Gideon was deader than death there. <laughs> And then got nibbled by squirrels. Yeah. Scooping it. Oh, what the? Wait. Oh, <laughs> they showed us their hand. They just drew off Night's Whisper and they drew into the wrath, but they couldn't cast it. They were just, sh just shy of it. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. Oh, but squirrel Hydra Elves taking them down. <laughs> Got a game here against MTG Cree, and we are going to be on the draw with some budget Squirrel Hydra Elves. This is going to be a keep. Looks good. Please don't in- Oh no, they're a Lurus deck, please. Any Lurus deck is going to kill my Heritage Druid deck, or Heritage Druid, it's not living. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe they're not. Hello. Because anything else it could have been, they were just going to like either lava dart it or push or thought seize me. But this might be the one possible Lurus deck that's not going to kill. Okay, maybe it's Merfolk. Uh, Greer World, thank you so much for following. How are you? Welcome, welcome. I just realized... Um, because I, I just got onto um, stream OBS live today because I usually use Streamlabs when I stream Magic the Gathering, but I forgot that I did not put on Capamon, so I'm going to have to do that in between rounds. All right, Dwinan's Elite. It is Merfolk. Could be spirits. And then Elvish Arc Druid. That was a pretty good, pretty solid turn two. How much power is that? One, two. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 power on turn 2. Not bad. Now, if I can just draw Hydra so I can get Squirrel Hydra online. And also, shout out to them for playing my favorite basic land. Or my favorite basic island. When I first saw this art, I just stared at it for a long time. Just couldn't look away. Just look how pretty. Okay, so it is Murflock. All right, make a bunch of mana. Deep Forest Hermit. Make a bunch of squirrels. And go swinging with everything. No, no holding back. Just give it everything before they can get their dudes fatter. Activates their Muta Vault, but they have no lords currently. No lords at all. If you want to trade off one for one here, I can take that. We went super wide. You only got two cards left. My dudes produce more bodies. Elvish Shark Druid is just one of the most insane lords. Just a regular lord, but just happens to tap for a million mana. Seems good. All right, taking down. Okay, we're the better tribe in game one, at least. We'll see what happens game two. So, um, Choke is not the best because they got Vile, but I can blow up Vile with 
Rex Sage. I don't think they're gonna have spreading seas and spreading seas won't even matter. Bale Summer doesn't do much. Nothing really does anything here. Um it might just be Rex Sage to blow up vials, because if they're deploying their threats by casting them, I feel like we can just go way faster than them. Hmm. And then if we can blow up their vials and then choke, I feel like we could do some awesome stuff. But they might only have like one island at any given time. Like they're going to have so much other things like Wander Wine Hub and Sea Chrome Coast and Mita Vault and stuff. So I don't know about choke, but let's bring in the Rex Ages. And um, let's take out Leave the Stampede. It's a little sluggish here. We get countered by Curse Catcher. And then cut one arbor elf and run it like that yeah rakdos lurus would have been terrible for us and also blitz Bl lurus blitz would have also been terrible because like lava dart would just wreck our dudes um i'm gonna keep this because if i draw another one drop we can just go turn two Elvish Archred. I'm really hoping for that. Not quite what I was looking for. Also, Dwight is a lead with help, so there's a lot of potential draws here. Any other of the 13 one drops to draw into, or any of the two drop guys, Dwight is a lead. So there's 17 total draws that help us do what we want to do here. So it's like a, a one in four chance. Oh no, dismember. Okay, a land also works. Always got to start in the Arc Druid, I think. Although I could go Imperious Perfect to start making more bodies. Which is not an awful idea. You might hear a loud noise that just happened in the background. The, I think the uh, neighbors are watering their grass or something. It'll go away in a little while. Is there any reason not to have canopy lands? Because El um, Arbor Elf. Arbor Elf is, uh, it needs forests. I want it to be consistent. Also, we're going for budget. All right, because I drew Arbor Elf, I'm going to go Imperious Perfect because next turn I can go tap Imperious Perfect to make an Elf, play an Elf, tap all three dudes, play Arc Druid, or play Deep Forest Hermit in the potentially Colony Hydra. I think that, I think that's enough mana to do that. Oh no, I need a, I need a top deck of land to do that. Yeah, I need a top deck of land to do that. I'm, I'm a little bit short. See, look at that. If I can draw a Reclamation Sage, we're in business, because they're stuck on one. That's why it's so important. And, it, like, whenever I'm going up against an Aether Vile deck, they always have it on turn one. And when I play an Aether Vile deck, I never have it on turn one. Ooh. All right, tap and pair is perfect. Wait, what are they doing in response? Are they a harbinger of tidesing it? Merfolk trickster. Okay. I can still do what I want to do. I can go Hydra here, which is not a bad idea because I can like pressure them. Okay, if I go Arc Druid, no, I think I go Arc Druid here because that, that would just mean that next turn I can just go wide with all of my, they're just scooping it up there. I mean, okay. I could have played Hydra and just had that 8-8 body. I feel like they would just like play another Merfolk Trickster and tap it down and get in at us. But then I'd be able to swing back for probably lethal. And that's the thing that would have got it. Because I would have just untapped, tapped my three lands for Archdruid, 
and swing an 8-8 Hydra along with five three-power dudes, and that probably would have been enough. So yeah, taking him down, that was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. Elves taking down Merfolk Better Tribe. Sorry, Nikachu. This happened last time. Do you guys remember the last time we played Elves and then we took down Merfolk and then said that Elves was a better tribe? And look at this. The next time, months later, playing Elves again and Elves is still the better tribe. Sorry to tell you, man. <laughs> Got a game here against Wilson and we're going to be on the draw here with some Squirrel Hydra Elves. And that looks like a keep to me. Can get out the turn two Arc Druid, followed by turn three Dwinan's Elite plus Hermit. That's some mega ultra beef right there. Hopefully they don't disrupt it, but um, unfortunately they are because they're blue white control. Oh, Squirrel Hydra incoming. Come on, let me get this off, dude. Just be some kind of be Ramos, but actually, no, don't be because you're going to kill us on turn two. <laughs> Don't, oh, it's Ceramos, isn't it? Oh, wait, no, they don't play a basic island. I don't think they do. Just don't have mana leak. Opt on. Wait, main phase? Hello? <laughs> okay, maybe this isn't a control player because no control player in the right mind would have tapped out right there. Is this going to get pathed? No path. All right. Okay, this probably isn't what we think it is. Is it like a Sphinx's tutelage? All right, well, I'm gonna do the thing right now. Dwyden's elite. It worked. I'm not playing. I I am playing right into a verdict. I don't even care. I don't even care about verdict. I'm playing right into it. Because I'm going all Squirrel Hydra, all in. I'm getting kind of flooded for an 18 land deck, actually. But again, I'm just going all out. No, no regrets. Absorb. Minister Sabatogi. Archmage's Charm. All right. So that tells me they don't have a verdict. If they countered that, that means they they don't have a sweeper because they would have just let it resolve and then swept us. So that's a good sign. That's a good sign that they countered that. Is it Jace time? Main phase. Okay, this person obviously is not a regular control player. They just main phase path us and tap that their their mana out when they could have represented Cryptic Command. This is interesting. I got another one. Come on, resolve, resolve, resolve. That's eight bodies perfectly. Yes. Nice. It's too easy. Get in there for four and the next turn lethal. Snap opt. Okay. Sure. They could have snap path if they waited. Which is probably in their better interest because block the deep forest hermit, path the colony hydra, drink all the squirrels. Probably be better for them. And I ended up drawing another land. I'm getting ultra flooded. So as soon as there's a sweeper, I'm just conceding immediately. I mean, I could technically top deck if, uh, lead the stampede. And look, they probably really want that second white mana for their supreme verdict in their wraths but they don't have anything on our side to field of ruin because we have all basics that's funny all right i'm just committing like i said like no no takesies backsies i'm just committing lay the clan caller get in there 
Counter tap. Uh, okay, no cryptic command. Another snap. Snap path on the Hydra. They're going to go snap path on the Hydra, block the Deep Forest Hermit, and then take uh, 12, 11, 10, 12, 4, 5, 6, yeah, 12, and go to 3, and then I'm going to be left with a bunch of 2, 2s, and 1, 1s, which is still good. Yep, exactly as expected. Down to three you go. And we still got a game-winning board. We're gonna find the second white source at the last possible chance. The last possible turn, making me actually regret regret playing the clan caller. Which uh it would have been only um they would have been at five, and then I'd be untapping with the clan caller, which still wouldn't be horrible, but I feel like at that point it's just over anyways. Oh, they didn't have it. Nice sideboard oh you know what we got chokes for this we have chokes for this and we also got veil of summers um i don't think shaver sage fair is going to do much despite the fact that they got paths um so yeah let's just bring those let's cut one let's i like to lead the stampedes here let's cut one arbor elf one deep forest tournament one colony hydra I like Imperius Perfect here, dude. I don't know. Screw it. Let's cut one. And then one... Dwine's... One Arbor Elf. I'm gonna try it like that. They're taking you? Okay, we're on the draw this time. Um, that's a fine hand. Easily swept, but it's fine looking, not mulliganable. Hopefully, I draw a choker of Ale of Summer. That's a good dude. Is Kanta Stoneforge? I thought it was budget at first because of Prairie Stream. Now it doesn't look so budget after all. Like they had Prairie Stream because they're a back to basics deck or something. All right. Mystic. Heritage, tap all three. And play Clan Caller. And let that last one mana burn us. Your go. They were taking 12. Ooh, Dwyden's elite. That's good. Did they grab a batter skull? Yeah, they did. Okay, so I can't really swing here. You're often in response. Dude, I know you're not countering anything. You're obviously holding up Stoneforge. You're not going to counter my Deep Forest Hermit. Huh. You know what? I actually don't really like playing Deep Forest Hermit here. I think I'd rather just go on the Clan Caller plan. Yeah, let's just activate Clan Caller a few times. I think that's better. Can I do this as instant speed? Yes. Yes, I can. All right, good.
Paul found shocked. Activates Stoneforge. Gets in the batter sclay. Oh, were they going to main phase path again? Because that's a cool thing to do. I have, probably, I have mana abilities, and they're not going to respond to what I'm going to do. They have no way of doing that. I mean... Do I trade off here? How much is it to get back to their hand? Three to their hand, so they... Can't really afford to do that. Do I trade off my Dwinan's Elite for that? I think I do. Oh, but they have a path. Hold on, they have a path. So, I could block, I could double block here. Yeah, I'm gonna trade off. And go activating, grab another one. Oh, but then if they path one, they're just going to eat the other. Okay, that was bad. Oh, but they let it go. Cool. I'll take that trade. That was a fine trade. I'm going to get a sword. Probably sword of fire and ice to start firing things off. I would imagine. Sword of feast and famine. Ooh, Elvish Arc Druid. I like that. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's just attack with all. Like, I was going to activate, but, you know, we have an opportunity to get some heavy damage here, so let's do it. Okay, good thing. I was like, did they really grab a second Batter Skull and they're going to eat my dudes? But that's a lot of damage. Uh, I'll take this opportunity to swing. I, I could have went with activate clan caller again and just swung with one clan caller for four but i'd rather take the opportunity to swing here for what is that 20 that's 20 no it's 18 actually and they're chomping okay so this kind of tells me they got a wrath maybe they do Gets in the sword. It was 22. I thought it was 16 plus. Oh, yeah, 22. For some reason, I thought 4444 four, four was 12. And then and then plus 6 here was 18. But no, 4444. Four, four, four. It's not 3333. Three, three, three. It's 4444. Four, four. 16 plus 6. 22. Yeah. So the lethal attack was worth it there, rather than giving their batter skull a chance to get up. And they did not find a sweeper. No day of judgment, no wrath, no supreme verdict, and no settle. And that'll do it. Taking down blue white control. I'm really happy of beating blue white control. We prepared for it, although we did not draw any other sideboard cards at all. We just happened to trample over them. And it's a lot easier to beat the new blue white control nowadays, like Stoneforge and stuff. The scary blue eye control is the classic one. Just sweepers, planeswalkers, counterspells. Like, that one is the most unbeatable, obnoxious SHIT. But happy to face this one any day. Got a game here against Guy Tracy. And uh, we're going to mulligan because his hand is two clunks. This one is better. And let's throw away one of our forests. And we got the squirrel hydras. If we get disrupt, if we get Thoughtseize, I'm honestly gonna scoop. Cause like them taking my elf is just too crippling and I don't want them to know what I'm on. Don't be shadow. Just be like flame blade at a deck or whatever, hollow one. Or be like storm entity. Oh my goodness. Feels like it's definitely shadow now. Be living end. Actually, no, don't be that either. Don't be that either. <laughs> That'd be horrible. Okay, this is almost guaranteed a Thoughtseize, but 
If it is, I'm scooping, like... All right, Scoop, we are going to bring in, um, we're going to bring in Shaper Sanctuaries and Veil of Summers. Let's go one Imperious Perfect, lead the Stampedes, one Arbor Elf, and let's bring in Shaper Sanctuaries. Shilks are not bad in this matchup, though. Bring in Veil of Summers. Cut one Hydra. And cut a Dwyden's Elite and run it like that. Actually, you know what? I actually like the Hydra better than I like Deep Force. Okay, too late. The Hydra's easier to get out than Deep Force Hermit, honestly. Like five mana versus like usually like two. Would you like to play first? Yes. Fuzzy Paws, thank you so much for the raid with the party of five welcome in raiders. Hello, hello. Let me give you a shout out. Welcome to Face Cam Monday. We're playing magic today. Y'all get to see the face reveal. Hey, Under Jake. Hello. Thank you so much for the follow. What were you playing? Just chatting. Ooh, cool. Was it a fursuit stream? How'd it go? What was it about? Mishra's booble. Thanks for all those raids lately. I appreciate it. Oh, are they going to thought seize me? Reading a book to the live audience. Oh, heck yeah. I got to do some more reading. A series of unfortunate events. The bad beginning. Oh, dang. It's been it. That's a that's some nostalgia right there. I remember back in school, they had us watch a series of unfortunate events, like the movie that had Jim Carrey in it or whatever. I think it had Jim Carrey. Was it Jim Carrey? I, I'm pretty sure it was. It's a pretty, pretty cool movie. Um, all right, let's go with just double mana dork here. I really wish I had the uh, Shaper Sanctuary. Make sure they couldn't deal with my stuff. They try to deal with my stuff, I draw cards. Like, it's one of my favorite things to do when I'm playing a little creature deck like this and I sideboard in the Shaper Sanctuary and I play it on turn one. Over the course of the game, it ends up drawing me like four cards and it just feels so good. Such a good sideboard card. And of course, they're dealing with everything and they're down to three. Oh, deep, if only. If only. All right, well, I technically have Lethal on board with Dwynan's Elite and then playing the um, Elvish Visionary after. A Sylvie the Kitsuki, thank you so much for the follow. Didn't you follow like yesterday? Or like a few days ago? Last week? Pretty sure you did. I, I, re I remember that. Maybe if somebody else had a very similar very similar name to you. Let me scroll back. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Um. I'm looking. No, I don't. I. Maybe I saw you in another chat before. Or maybe you hosted before or something or something like that. I'm not sure. Dang. Oh, I scrolled back. Can't believe I forgot. Pineapple Fox raided me. That was amazing. I 
I really hope I draw that Hydra. There are two, dude. There are two. We can get them. Unless they TBR. I'm not blocking. If they got TBR, cool, we're dead. But, like, I'm not gonna, like... I'm going for it. I'm, I'm going for it. Snap push. Gonna deal with my Elvish clan caller. I really hope they don't hit my heritage druid. Please just hit my clan caller. I need the heritage druid to get out the deep forest hermit. Come on, hit the clan caller. Hit the clan caller. Hit it. Hit the clan caller. If they hit her heritage druid, they're stream sniping. Okay. I was about to say. Yeah, the pineapple raid was... I forgot to thank him and go say hi to him, dude. Like, I gotta do that. Totally forgot he raided me last week. Alright, looks like there's no TBR. They would have used it there, 100%. If they had it. Come on, any elf, any elf. Don't be a land. Just any elf. There's only 15 lands left in my library. I got 50 cards. The chances are low. Come on. Give me any spell that's not a Hydra or a Deep Forest Hermit. Just an elf. Any elf. Yes. <laughs> got it. And it had to be a one drop too. All right. Now I'm going super wide. Super, super wide. If they don't have TBR, I'm going wide around them. <laughs> It had to be a one-drop elf, too. I'm happy about that. Like, that was, like, the clutchest. It had to be specifically a one-drop elf, in which there was only, like, a few left. Because there's three in my grave. There was already one in play. And there was 15 total. So that means there was only 11 left in the library. Yeah, see, they're yellowing right now. They're absolutely yellowing. Stupid fly. All right, let's just go like that. Like, again, if they got TBR, they got it. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, TBR is death. Do we have a chance? Oh, we got it. All right, so game two or game three, since we're on the draw, I think I'm cutting Shaper Sanctuary because it's just going to be too slow. Like, it's better when you just drop it on turn 1 when you're on the play. So bring back in this. Bring back in Dwayne's Elite. Bring back in the Colony Hydra. Cut a Deep Force Hermit. Bring in the Imperious Perfect. And I think I'll keep in Vela Summer. But I feel like maybe I should only go one or two of them. D Force Hermit was pretty clutch there. All right, let's just go two Veil of Summers because on the draw, like, we only need to clutch one. Like, we don't need multiple. Okay, you know what? Hold on. Let's actually do three. Is it too late? They already submit. They already submit. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, that looks good. We got the the one clutch Veil of Summer. Which probably is going to get Inquisitioner Thoughts eased. Uh, gotta keep it though. We did say hi and thank you during the stream. It was, yeah, it was a big raid. The big raids are stressful because it's like so much pressure on you to be an amazing streamer after that. All right. Oh. Do I do I do it? Do I like. Leave. I'm leaving at Vela Summer. I'm doing it. I'm leaving it up. Because if, if I played an Elvish Mystic, they were just going to push.
Come on. Come on. Thought sees me, bro. bro, bro. Thought sees me, bro. Do it. Yes. No, no, no. That ain't happening. How, how rude of you. I, I'm just going to say no to that and I'm going to draw a card because that was rude of you to do. Oh, another deep forest hermit. Is that Oko? Oh, on the Hydra. Come on, we can get Squirrel Hydra online. And next turn, we have the mana to go Squirrel Hydra. So if they do not disrupt our dudes here, next turn, we go Squirrel Hydra. Oh, this, this can be incredible. But just don't. They're going to push my guy, yeah. There's no way your guy's living you. All right, I got to draw another cheap elf. I Some, like, preferably a Dwyan's Elite. Preferably... You know what? Actually, preferably a one drop because that would give me the mana to still go the Forest Hermit next turn. Would it? No, no, I'd be one short. All right, well, get to see our jank. They're definitely taking our Heritage Druid now. See, it's like Bolt is the only thing they have that can kill Deep Forest Hermit. It's kind of difficult for them to deal with it. Like a five drop, one, one. They take our Heritage Druid. Oh, thank you, Strategist. I appreciate it. So what would I want here? I would probably want to draw a Imperious Perfect or or a, any elf that's not a one drop elf. I mean, I wouldn't mind another Mana Dark Elf, but just kind of at this point, Heritage Druid is bad. And I have all the Squirrel Hydras I couldn't ever want right now, so I'm done drawing those. A land wouldn't be the most horrible thing either, because that'd mean that next turn I'd have the mana for Deep Forest Hermit. I mean, that's acceptable. I'm not going to damage them. I'm not going to grow their shadow. Let's just pass. All right, so land would be ideal. Land or Heritage Druid now would be ideal. As long as they don't kill our junk. And yeah, exactly. Like it, when somebody big raids you, it's like the pressure is on to perform and be a good streamer. Because you don't want to like bore 70 people who join your chat. Like my biggest raid ever that I've gotten was like 360 people or like 390 people like raiding my chat. And I don't even, I think I was playing like Super Mario World. And that's even more pressuring because it's Kaizo and you have to be good at Kaizo. Land. Oh, no. All right, well, call me Hydra's are now five mana. Please, this would be so good. Come on, Squirrel Hydra, next turn, dude. Just don't kill our stuff. Just do not kill our stuff. Just do not kill our stuff. And next turn is so amazing. Come on. Oh, that's another land. It's looking good so far. Oh, they're fetching. Oh, they're just fetching and shocking to grow their shadow. Looks like they might be. See, Grix's shadow, while 
gets out the gates real quick like that. It runs out of gas very quickly, too. Down to 11. Oh, they're passing. I'll give you another Hydra if you're passing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, uh, just don't, don't hurt my elves. Don't hurt my elves. Don't hurt my elves. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Let's put Chancellor on the bottom because I want to draw another Hydra. Thank goodness they didn't hit my mana dorks. They knew I had D4 Hermits also. Elvish Arc Druid. All right. And unfortunately, we are one body short now of dropping out the Hydra because they dealt with one of my creatures. Yeah, I'm one, I'm one mana short. All right. But next turn, though, was great. Wait, what's this? What are they playing? They have another angler. Oh, explosives on zero. That sucks. All right, well, that means I can't block anymore. So I have to take it. I, oh, wait, I can't. I cannot take it. I have to chump. I have to chump because if I took it, then they would just fetch and kill me. All right. Yeah, they're dealing with us now. Same. All right, another deep forest tournament. That was a good last card to have right there. Forgot to turn my volume up. Oh, it is at 100. All right, you know the drill. Chump, chump. You know, I should have actually chummed with Deep Forest Hermit. PBR? Oh, dismember. Okay, sure. I still have enough though. We're good now. Give me another Hydra. All right. Do I have enough to go? I'll have a Shark Druid, Arbor Elf, Hydra. Nope, I don't. Another Deep Forest Hermit. And now I'm going to start attacking back. And now I can drop out a free Hydra about dang time. About dang time. All right, next turn is the turn. All right, opponent, you have to find your TBR right now. You got it or nah? Are we getting them JJs? Give me that JJ. GG. Oh my goodness. Taking down Shadow. <laughs> wait, oh wait, is this the GG of like, I'm gonna just TBR you and kill you? Or is this the actual, like, you got it, GG? Okay, the opponent's back, and they end up scooping it up. Taking down Grixis Shadow, nice. Got a game here against Asha XL, and we're going to be on the draw here with some budget Squirrel Hydra Elves. And uh, I'm going to keep that one, because that's a turn two Imperius Perfect. Then we can proceed to, on turn three, tap it for a dude, play another one, and then the next turn, play a Hydra. <sighs> Ooh, I'm kind of tempted to scoop. 
I'm kind of tempted to scoop, but you know what? I have so much one drops to draw into that I'm actually going to let this go. They, they know what we're on now, but they're for sure taking Imperius Perfect and then going to kill our Arbor Elf because they're black-white. No, they're just taking our Arbor Elf, so they don't have a kill spell. And there is also the Thoughtseize bug of, like, whatever you take with Inquisition or Thoughtseize, likely the thing off the top is going to be the same card. But we still got Lord and the Lord Lord, so this still seems pretty good. Stone Frog. They're just going to get Sword of Fire and Ice now and just start demolishing our dudes. So this is going to suck. Beast and Famine. Okay, that's better, actually. I don't mind that. Alright, Clan Caller. I wouldn't mind a land drop at this point either, so that I can go Imperius Perfect plus activate it. All right, I'm guessing they're taking Lead the Stampede because it's the single thing that's like, might be appealing. Yep, exactly, they took it. Oh, dude, they're not gonna like flash in the sword here. That's good. Of course, just triple Inquisition. The thing in modern I hate most happens three times. In the course of one turn. All right, Deep Forest Hermit. We're going to get in there for two. We have a decent shot here, like, we have a decent shot. Because we can start activating that Imperius Perfect. Hopefully they don't got a... They even have a path? Dude, they have everything. They have everything. But we've got Squirrel Hydra. We have Squirrel Hydra potential. Oh, but they're going to flash in the sword this turn. Man, absolute just like everything they need. Everything they need they have. Oh, oh I don't know. Yeah, I think it's time to scoop it up. Like, they just had everything, all right? They just had it all. <laughs> and black-white mid-range is just so good. You got the best removal in sideboard, Thoughtseize, Inquisition, Tidal of Sculler, Stoneblade, Liliana. Like, you have everything in those colors. Bring in Veil of Summer, 1,000%. And Shaper Sanctuary is not bad. Does it trigger for abilities? Spell or ability? I feel like that could be pretty good too. And uh, Rex Sage is good. Um, I think I'm only going to go two Shapers because they're, they're going to be decent, but I don't want more than one and it might not even be that good. There's a chance of it just not being good. Okay, it's got one Deep Forest, one Hydra, two Perfects. I like Leave the Stampede, but I feel like I want to be more spitting out creatures real swiftly here. Got a couple Arbor Elves running like that. like to play first yes that's interesting i think it's gonna be a mulligan i gotta like now now the more i mulligan the more i need to have a veil of summer in my opener or my hands is gonna get torn apart yeah see like that's just not gonna work that'll have to do i'm gonna throw away a hydra in the forest and hope that i don't get Thoughtsies or whatever, like that's all I can hope for. And if I do, I'm just gonna scoop. Like mulligating to five and then getting Thoughtsies just means you officially have nothing. Like
Are they shocking? Alright, I'm ready to scoop right now. I mean, okay. We'll we'll keep on we'll we'll wait for a second. Imperious perfect. Okay, see I wouldn't mind getting that out. If I can draw a land and get that out, like be pretty good. Again, the moment I'm getting thoughtsies, I'm scooping. Um, all right, well, let's see. Maybe there's a chance that they forget that their guy is an artifact and they take the Imperious Perfect. There's a chance. But if they take Rex Sage, I'm scooping. Yeah, screw this matchup. Uh, they have so much ways to disrupt us. It's just redonkulous. And I had to mulligan down to five and then ended up getting my creature kill, my stuff taken on my hand, and... You, if you're, if that happens in any capacity on a mold of five, you're just done. You're just done, no matter what deck you are. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the speed up session for today's video. As you know, we like to speed up the longest games in the video to make sure it's not way longer than it should be. And as always say, if you want to catch the full games unsped up, unedited, and uncut for the video, you can go to the Twitch link down below in the description and check out the VOD from last Monday. And this one wasn't really too long, but we kind of just got destroyed in it. And this is just a match. Just We're only speeding up one today. It's just this one. And it's going to end in like 20 seconds. But this one just goes to show a bad matchup. I just want to show off a bad matchup. Dredge is a horrible matchup because they have like Creeping Chill is an unfair card. So it's like you start the game at 32 and your opponent starts at what, eight? And so like they have the life advantage and then they have the ability to dredge over a conflagrate and just wipe our board, which is what they did both games to get us. And we really don't have great um, graveyard disruption in here. So in your sideboard, you might want to add some amount of scavenging oozes or some other kind of graveyard hate, like Wheel of Sun and Moon might not be a horrible idea. Just prepare for graveyards because dredge is a problem. They even got Dark Blast as well. Just a lot of ways to just destroy us and then get us back on the backswing. And with that, we're going to go on to the wrap up. Hope you enjoyed the video. So we ended up with four total wins. The deck did pretty dang good for a budget deck. Um, at the end there, we got a couple um, pretty bad matchups um but for the most part we did pretty dang solid we almost snagged the 5-0 oh, almost snagged the 5-0 oh, dude so close we're so close it was just like in the last video um but the synergy of deep force hermit into colony hydra was awesome it was a little bit more difficult to get online than than it would seem like on paper and there was like one time where we actually like Played the D Force Hermit, but we were one short of Colony Hydra because the opponent killed one of our creatures, but we still ended up getting that game. And um there's also some times where we could just like easily like elves can easily just cast Colony Hydra naturally because it usually has a lot of creatures on board. So if you're doing your whole heritage druid shenanigans, you can do it. Um, however, I felt like Colony Hydra was a lot more powerful than Deforce Hermit because it cost less mana, believe it or not. It's like, it's an 8 drop, but it's like so much quicker to get out than this because it, this one, you're always going to spend 5 mana on it every time, always. And this one could be like free to a 3 drop. Like it's, it's usually that much. Super simple. And especially alongside things like Imperius Perfect and Dwynan's Elite and Heritage Druid, you can just produce so much board state. Um, and I feel like there's a world in which you would keep in the Hydras, but like cut the Deforce Hermits for like collected companies. And, um, and then just like put in a few more like cheaper elves, like maybe some Nettle Sentinels or something, something like that. But yeah, collected companies over Deforce Hermits might not be bad because like, think about it. You're like collected company is also going to generate you multiple bodies, multiple green bodies. And what you want to do with this is produce a bunch of bodies to make the, the hydra cheaper and that's what coco will do especially if you hit like a dwyden's elite off of it and you can mix this with traditional like black green elves and go shaman of the pack but then again you're going really heavy on three drops at that point and it's like either either leave the stampede or shaman is i feel like what you want to go with um but then i I'd probably want to stick with mono green because arbor elf and getting the turn two imperious perfect dark druid is really important and um you know a lot of elf deck don't do that but i feel like i want to go overboard on making sure that happens making sure that works because the you know the the early turns are the most important i feel like i want to make them as consistent as possible 
So yeah, that that's that is something that I would try. And if you do put cocos, maybe you can replace leave the stampedes. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button down below uh, if you did. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Go check out the social media links there in the description, as well as a link to Twitch if you want to catch one of these live streams. We stream our Magic the Gathering gameplay all day long on Monday, and we stream variety through the rest of the week, Tuesday through Friday, if you want to go see some other games. And uh, if you want to try today's deck out for yourself, consider signing up with Mana Traders in the link down below using the code Marin Moon to save 15% off, and you can rent today's deck on Magic Online and try it out for yourself as well as any future decks we play on the channel. It is the most trusted and reliable MTGO card rental service, the best way to play all the magic online you want. And if you want to try the deck out in paper, consider purchasing through our deck list link down below. That is our TCG player link and anything you purchase there, anything you purchase through there really helps out the channel. It is the number one place on the internet to buy Magic the Gathering singles. And shout out to all of our supporters over on Patreon. It is because of you guys, this channel is possible. So thank you very much for your support. If you would like to become a patron as well, link is down below. And with that, we're gonna get out of here. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.